what's the buzz like around the team this week going into the first ever final? Oh, it's obviously exciting. Um, I think we've got some like wrongs to right after uh, how the season finished last week, but yeah, definitely excited. Um, ready to go. When you took on the victory not too long ago here and had a great win you with a couple of goals, that obviously gives you a hell of a lot of confidence. Yeah, for sure. But um, I mean, after that, you can kind of expect it's going to be a very different game. Uh, they're probably not going to like the result um, that we came out with last time. So yeah, it's going to be a very different game, I'm sure. I think you might go in as favourites this week, Fiona. It's not something that Adelaide United has spent a lot of time doing, yeah. maybe not so much this year, but in the years gone by. Is it a strange position for the club to be in? Um, Potentially, but I think this is kind of the only Adelaide United I kind of know. Uh, the last couple of years, I think, you know, we have gone into games, uh, maybe not the start of the season being a favourite, but definitely towards the end. So, yeah, for me, uh, I think that that's what we deserve to be. Do you, I mean, it's not, it's not all on you, of course, there's a lot of people involved, but do you take some, some pride personally as a team and on the way that the club has managed to turn itself around in the last few years? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, especially a lot of these girls have been here throughout the all of it um, and I think it's a credit to a lot of them to show the progress that they've made and um, yeah the how well United are doing that. And I mean you would have got a big crowd regardless but the fact that the, the boys play afterwards might just pick up the crowd a little bit. How exciting to have hopefully a, a massive crowd. <laughs> yeah hopefully it is going to be a big crowd and people will get there nice and early. It'd be nice to have those fans there from you know kick off not just at the end but even if you know is the crowd tends to in the double headers gets that bit bigger towards the end of the game and you know in games like these, that, these that's what you need uh, yeah has Adrian, sorry, has Adrian spoken about the pressure that comes with the final or anything different because it's a game that a lot of girls haven't played in before um no we haven't really spoken about it uh, in that regard and I think yeah maybe for United players haven't been in this position but I think a lot of us have in you know for other teams um, like I've been in cup finals and you know uh, cup games before and I know a lot of the other girls have so yeah it's different but it's same thing really. What do you put your form down to? Is this the best season you've ever had individually? Um, in senior football yeah for sure um, it has to be. Um, I don't know what to, what to put it down to I'm just you know I, I'm, I'm happy and I'm thriving and yeah when you when you like that outside uh, definitely uh, helps your game. You look like confident on the ball. I don't know if you've ever felt like you lack confidence on the ball but it looks like every time you get it want to do something with it and not just get rid of it. Am I making that up? No, yeah. I mean, there's definitely been times, I think everyone's had those times where you haven't particularly felt um, as confident as you should be on the ball. But yeah, I do feel <laughs> confident on the ball. Um, I feel comfortable that, you know, kind of whatever decision I make, um, I sort of trust. And whether that's, you know, playing it off to my team, I trust them or I trust myself if it's me to take a shot. So yeah. I'm Pretty confident. Bigger leagues around the world in terms of America and obviously the WSL in England. Are they aspirations you have? Have you had any contact from clubs over there? Um, yeah, I think obviously for me it's always playing at the highest level I can for as long as I can. Um, right now I'm trying not to try not to think too much about you know what happens when the next few weeks are over and just focus on uh, focus on finishing the finals off with United. That's it, mate. You don't want to focus on it. I'm not asking you to focus on it longer than 15 seconds, but have you sort of had contact, map management, you know, other clubs? Are there things that you have to consider post season here? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think you have a good season and doors open. So, yeah, for sure there's been some doors that have opened, but yeah, try not to, try not to put too much onto it at the minute. One of those doors, like a 10 year deal with Adelaide United or something like that? Yeah, something like that.